In this video, I'm going to be going over how to make a Katana animation combo system. So, if we attack, we'll just do one attack, and if we continue continue to attack, we'll do another attack. And if we continue to attack whilst moving, we'll do one more final attack. So first, we're going to go into our character's animation blueprint, and I've just got these animations from uh, Mixamo. I'll leave a link in the description. So I have three animations, as our combo is going to have three animations. So we select them and create, and we're going to create an anim montage so we, you can reference and play these animations when we want to. So if you click on it, we're going to add a new slot. So if you go to window, anim slot manager, and we'll add a new slot. And I'll just call this upper body as we're only going to be taking the upper body part of this guy's animation. So if you just select upper body and select that and save, and we're going to do the rest for the rest of his animation montages. Because we don't want what's below his legs, we only want like the top half of his body swinging. So if we just put it to that slot, and we'll do the same thing for the final animation. You can use any animation you want, I just found these because these may not look that good. And if we go to the third person animation blueprint, and we'll just create some space, we're going to new save cache pose. And then we're going to use this cache save pose. And then we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to create a layered blend per bone. And we'll just plug that into the base. And then from this one, we're going to reference the slot that we just created. So if you right click and go slot, and you want to change this to the upper body slot we just created. So it only plays the top half. And we'll just plug this in. And to make it only play the top half, if we go in here and lay a set up and add a ray element and just click that, we need to select the bone. So I'm just going to make it copy from the spine 01 upwards. So if we just copy this and then uh, just paste that name there, and I'll paste from all the animations from the spine upwards that we referenced with that. So if we just compile and then. Got that. So now we're going to set up the combo in our third person character's uh, blueprint. So if we just go in there and find some space, I'm going to make it when we click the right mouse button, that's going to start to do our combo. So when the right mouse button is pressed, we're next going to get a switch on in as we have three different animations. And I'm just going to add three different pins for the three different animations our character will do in this combo. And we'll just plug this in. And on selection, we're just going to promote this to a variable. And I'll just call this animation number. And depending on the number, will depend uh, what animation we play in our combo. So next, I'm just going to drag our mesh. And we're going to play montage. And we'll just play uh, one of the montages that we just created. So I'm first going to make him just swing his sword uh, downward and then uh, I'll use the other animations for the other one. So after this we're going to get the animation number because at default this will be 0 and then we're going to increment it so that this number will be 1 and once this number is 1 we're going to do our next animation. Although to have a combo I'm going to have a retrickable delay so when this happens we have I'm going to make it 3 seconds to click on this again if we want to continue our combo and do a different attack. And if we don't, I'm going to set the animation number back to 0. So we need to do our combo quick enough in order for us to get the other animations. So next I'm just going to move this. And we'll copy the first half of this. So Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And then I'll plug 1 into this. So when this is 1, we're going to do this animation. And uh, I can't remember what I did for this one. So downward. So I'll make this horizontal when we've got our second combo. I think I got that correct. And so next we will get our animation number. And I'm going to set this to 2. Because if we do this animation, I'm going to set our animation number to 2. So we can do the final combo. So I'm going to drag off two, and this time I'm going to make it so we can only do this combo if our character is moving forward. So to do that, on input 
actors move forward, I'm going to promote this to a variable as this gets if we're moving forward. And I'll just call this forward because this will tell us how far, if we're like how much we're pressing the key. And I'll just plug this in. And if we're pressing this key, this value will be greater than one. And if this is true, we're going to allow our player to do the third and final combo animation. So he needs to be moving forward so if he wants to do this final attack. So I'll just plug that in. Then we're just going to copy the mesh and play montage. And we'll plug this in. And I'll select the final great sword slash animation. So then um, after this we've done the final montage, I'm going to set our animation number to zero so it just resets the combo. So to make this all smooth and make it so we can't just switch our animations quickly, I'm going to make this do once so we only do our montage once and then we're going to have things to reset it in, so that we can play the whole of our animation through as we don't want to play the first animation then cut it off quickly. So we're going to set that up now. So if we go into our character's animations, we're going to add some notifs so that it plays this animation and then we can move on to the next animation. Otherwise it may look a bit jerky. So I'm going to make it around this frame. And if we go down, I'm going to add in notif, notify, whoops. And I'm just going to call this reset. And then we're going to do the same for all the animations. So if we scroll down and around here, I'm going to make it reset. So new notify and make sure to name the same. And then I'll do it for this one as well. As all these animations I need to have this so that we can continue our animation after we've done it. And uh, I'm going to make the reset here. So add notify and I'll add new notify and call it reset. Now I'm going to make a custom event. I'll just call this reset. And this will reset and allow us to continue doing our animation montage. So if you go to our animation blueprint, we're going to make it when we do this, do our animation, it will cause the reset. So if we cast our third person character, and we'll get the reset on our anim notifier. And from here, we'll, after you cast the third person character, we'll call the reset event. And we compile, this will just allow us to make sure the animations fully play through before we do our next one. So, off of the pulse here, so just to make sure that we can continue doing our montage, I'm just going to add a reset here if we're not moving forward. So just make sure everything goes back to normal. And we're almost finished, so I'm just going to set up, we're just going to set up the sword now. So if we go to our character's animation and then we go to his skeleton, what I'm going to do is click on his right hand and I'm going to add, sorry, I'm going to add a socket and I'm just going to call this socket the sword, as this is going to be where his sword or the weapon that he's holding, yours can be any weapon or item. So I'll just call this sword and then I'm going to add a preview asset and I'm just going to select this katana model that, um, that I found. And then you just want to scale it and make sure that it's correct and put it in your hands. This took me a while so I'm just going to fast forward and skip here. And after this, if we go to our third person character and we add a component and add a static mesh and attach this to our character, we'll just select the model that we made and then we'll just reset its location. We'll attach it to the sword that we just made to the socket and then we'll reset its location and rotation so that it's in our character's hand. But now if we click compile and play, uh, if we right click it does that attack and then if we right click again it does that attack. And if we right click, right click and we move forward it will do our third combo attack. And this will reset every three seconds so we need to do it within that time. 
And uh, that's all. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.